over the past two years I've taught uh, science at a range of year levels and I've always taken a term or, or a, two terms to focus on something agriculture based. I've been trialling Unit 2 which is the uh, where does our meat and wool come from. So we've been focusing on sheep and cattle. My impressions of the unit at first were um, it was a fantastic snippet of basically the industry as a whole and then what I chose to do was just to tease it out for quite quite an extended period. In the past I've got my learning materials based on where I teach so it's pretty much regional and I find my resources in a, in a range of places whether it be primary industries or MLA or somewhere like that. It's pulled all the resources in already so it's meant a lot more um, time can be spent on uh, in the class rather than planning for the class. The implementation in my classroom was structured with one lesson a week, so we had 100 minutes per week with a combined 6-7 class. So I chose to set up the, the structure of the lessons with a lot of hands-on stuff, a lot of group work, as well as a lot of um, class discussion. So I, I did chop and change a little bit between some of the activities that were suggested in the unit. So I just sort of made it fit my cohort of students. They definitely have picked up a lot of interesting things about agriculture in Australia as a whole, um, as opposed to their own region. I thought it was pretty cool to see how much the climate of your area affects your enterprise and your animals. Most fun experience for me was when Miss Westbrook showed us the virtual farms on the internet. And we learned about three farms and just learning about them just showed me a whole lot of new things about agriculture. I think the unit has increased their knowledge on food and fibre. They had quite a few misconceptions about food and fibre when we first started. Varied ideas on things like where coffee comes from and, and things like that and just general discussions about the difference between fruits and vegetables and just to show them things like how they press wool and things like that, they were blown away. The unit also allows for aspects of geography and science to come in as well because we're talking about farms around Australia and their locations and their climate and you know topography and weather and things like that. The activity that I found most useful was the lay it on the line activity that was suggested in the unit. Students uh, had to decide after being read a statement whether they agreed, disagreed or were unsure with the statement. It was an interesting activity for the students to work out perhaps what their ideas were and it was also interesting to see how they made their decisions, whether they were you know, sheep and following the pack or whether they were happy to stand on their own and give me a valid reason for why they were there, which was a very interesting way for me to gauge what they've understood about the unit and perhaps where the gaps are that we need to go over again. I don't know why I haven't done it sooner. It's fantastic and I can see it can be used in many different ways, but I would definitely be using it again. Being introduced to this fantastic unit has allowed me to uh, widen my scope on some of the environmental issues and farms in particular around Australia rather than just what's in our region. The resource I can see will be a huge benefit for teachers that don't perhaps have an agriculture uh, background. And the learning resources definitely cover uh, what teachers will need to deliver it successfully in their classroom. Mm -hmm.